In this video, I will demonstrate how to conduct a paired samples t-test in Microsoft Excel. In this data set, I have vehicle fatality rates for different age groups for 50 U.S. states. The observation level is a U.S. state, I have the same U.S. states for each age group, and therefore I have paired samples. The same observation level, the same sampling units are in each group. I'm going to compare whether the vehicle fatality rate for age group 21 through 34 is different than the vehicle fatality rate for ages 35 through 54. I have the added difficulty here and then I have some missing observations. Let's take Delaware for instance. I know that the vehicle fatality rate for the 21 through 34 group in Delaware is 13, but I'm missing the observation for the vehicle fatality rate for 35 through 54 year olds. As a consequence, I need to eliminate Delaware from the comparison since I only have one group but not the other. Excel is not as smart enough to do this automatically, so we have to filter out those observations. Go to the data menu, select filter. Then I'm going to focus on the two variables I'm interested, which are columns C and D here. I'm going to select the downward arrow. I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom. And I'm going to uncheck blanks. That removes all the blank rows for that variable. I'm going to do the same thing for the 35 through 50 year olds. Click the downward arrow, scroll down, uncheck blanks, click OK. There we go. Now I have all the US states for which I have observations for this variable and this variable. I am going to copy and paste all of this into a new sheet. And to paste it, I am going to paste special. Let me zoom in. Paste special, right click, and the paste option I'm going to choose is that values where it says one, two, three. It's going to paste all the values and only the rows where these two variables had no blanks in them. All right, let's get started with the paired samples t-test. Go to data, data analysis, select t-test, paired two sample for means. Select OK. My variable one range, I'm going to select column C. Variable two range, I'm going to select column D. My hypothesized mean difference is zero. That is, my null hypothesis is going to be that there is zero difference in the average fatality rate for those two groups. The alternative hypothesis is that they're somehow different from zero. That the difference is different from zero. I do have labels in the first row, so I'm going to make sure I check that labels box. My typical significance level of 0 0.05, and I'm going to put the output somewhere on the sheet in a convenient place. Let's say right here. Click OK. Expand these results. All right, we have uh, the average vehicle fatality rate for the 21 through 34 year olds. We can see is 13.6 deaths per 100,000. The vehicle fatality rate for 35 through 54 year olds is nine deaths per 100,000. And we have two different p-values here, a one-tailed test and a two-tailed test. The one-tailed test is testing if the mean of one group is larger than the mean of the other group. And which group it's looking for is larger is the one that actually is larger in the sample. So in this case, this is testing whether the mean age 21 through 34 is greater than the mean age 35. 54. Our two-tailed test right here is just testing if these are different. So this is the mean age 21 through 34 is different than the mean age 35 through 54. Let's look at each one in turn. The one-tailed test. We're going to compare this value to see if it's less than or greater than 0 0.05, a typical significance level. 7.7e to the minus 13 means 0, 0.000, lots of zeros, 77. This is much smaller than 0 0.05, which means we reject the null hypothesis, and we do conclude the alternative hypothesis here, that the mean of the age group 31 through 54 is greater than the mean of the age group 35 through 54. Similarly, we can look at the two-tailed test. 
1.54 e to the minus 12. e to the minus 12 means move the decimal place to the left 12 spots. And we can see that this is much, much smaller than 0 0.05, a typical significance level. And therefore, we reject the null hypothesis. We do conclude this alternative hypothesis uh, that we have statistical significance that the mean for age group 31 through 21 through 34 is not equal to the mean for the age group 35 through 54.